All right, and now we have the third game of today's action. As we are back, it's Ghana taking on Ivory Coast or Cote d'Ivoire. Ayu is going to get things kicked off to get things started. And it looks like it's Sinogo to return. And he actually gets a pretty good return. They're, they're going to have to take this from their 33-yard line. Libeling drops back. And he's going to go deep almost immediately. But no receiver is going to get to that one. And it'll be a second and ten situation. Gonna be inter it's going to be interesting to see how both these sides shape each other up. Of course, both of them not strangers to each other in other sports, of course. But in any sense, I do feel like an interesting matchup is going to be in store for us today. As Glibly gets pressure almost immediately and he's forced to throw it out. So Ivory Coast is going to be held to their own 33-yard line to get the game started. I believe that's Kamara. And its return is Kufour. And he's not going to get far. Ghana essentially getting a touchback either way. And now Ghana going deep, and Owusu manages to snag it. Wasn't expecting Boateng to go with the big guns almost early, but just like that, Ghana finds themselves very close to Ivory Coast's red zone. Obuor on the cross is going to get three yards on that reception. Obuor, this time he's going to get the run. And he's only going to get an extra two yards. Ghana within field goal range either way. Borsa, he's not going to get anywhere. And it'll be a fourth and four. Ghana might have to take the chip shot here. And they will. Ayu is not going to get that one. And that's a blown chance to take the lead as he couldn't hook it just enough. And Ivory Coast, well, they'll get to take over from where Ghana messed up. It'll be second and six. Libley finds Jay on the cross. And it'll be a first down. And Gessen gets some friendly blocks, and he's going to get some space to run. And then Gessen's going to get tracked down before he can get any further. Only going to get a yard. We have a flag, and this time it's going to be... On Ivory Coast, Soro is going to cost him five yards, and now it'll be second and 14. I don't really think that's what they need here, as, you know, they're already close, well, getting close to the end zone, and the receiver misses that one, third and 14. And any and all momentum can play a big impact in the game, as we've seen with other games before, Libley. He's going to go on the cross. He's going to overthrow his man again. And Ivory Coast is going to be forced to punt. Kamara. That should be at about the 19. Now Ghana going to take over. They were so close on their first drive to having somewhat moderate success. And another penalty. Oh, it looks like Borsa is going to get some extra insurance on that run. As a second penalty for Ivory Coast sees them lose yards. Borsa almost breaking free. And he'll get the first and ten.
Borsa. Almost gets the first and 10 almost immediately. But a good gain of 9 yards still works either way. Boateng pressure, and he's going to get sacked. Kawame on the blitz, and it works pretty much well for Ivory Coast. Another blitz incoming. And I'm not sure who they were targeting, but the receiver can't pick it up. It'll be fourth and eight. Amponsa, he's going to be the punter for Ghana. And Kra is going to be forced to pick it up, actually, but only at the three. Sinogo. Looks like he's out with a leg injury, so they're going to miss their return man for a few plays. I'm guessing. He's only going to get three yards on that run. It'll be second and seven. They give it back to him. He's going nowhere. Sarpe. On the TFL, he's going to make sure there's no gain whatsoever. Liberally, short pass, finds Toure. Liberally blitz, and he gets the pass off in time. Although I'm guessing only going to get a yard on that one. And that blitz pretty much came out of nowhere, I'm guessing. Trying to go through the gaps. He's only going to get an extra two yards. And as I say that, Sonogo is going to return to the field for Ivory Coast. And that will be the end of the first as it's still nil-nil. Ghana close to drawing first blood, but Ayu could not hook it enough. Which sees us at a scoreless game still. Glibly. I'm guessing. It's given off, and it's going to be a face mask against Ghana this time. They're going to cough up some serious yardage. So just when they think they have it out. It looks like, well, the penalties actually pretty much cost them. I think that's their first penalty of the game, and of course it came at an inopportune time. The Ivory Coast needs to use this momentum. And looks like they're not going to be able to do that as Sarpe gets in the backfield again. Takes down and guess him. Third and 13 now. And it's going to be overthrown. And it's looking like the punt team is going to have to come out for Ivory Coast. Kamara. Finds Kufu War, and he's not going to get super far. Ghana going to take it from their 18-yard line. So far, both these sides, it looks fairly decent on both ends, both offensively and defensively, but neither side has really been able to find that decisive, well, strategy to really put the other one, you know, in trouble. As far as it goes, it's been pretty much back and forth the entire time. Blitz coming. And it works again. It's Kawame. His second tackle is also going to be a sack. And literally nothing from that O-line. As Ghana going to be forced to punt. Croc. On the return, he's not going to get super far, but it's decent. It's decent field position for Ivory Coast. I'm guessing he's not going to get super far either. Only an extra two yards from where they originally are starting, and they give it straight to him guessing. And it's listed as a TFL, but he's going to sneak an extra yard in just because. Third and seven so far. It's not, It's again, it's been very back and forth. Glibly overthrows his man on the corner. And fourth and seven sees Ivory Coast punting this time. 
So neither side able to break the deadlock as I speak. 2-4. Looks like he's going to get closed out almost immediately. And Ghana taking over from their 20. Oh, tank. Almost intercepted. Neither QB has given up an interception just yet. The Boateng was awfully close with that one. And Awusu, he's found on the cross as Ghana gets a first down. Orsa to make it back to back first downs, he does. And maybe the Ghana the maybe the Ghanaians they can pull something together here. Vorsa only gonna get three yards on that rush though. They give it back to Vorsa again. And now he'll get the first. If anything, he seems like one of the more shifty running backs, and we've seen that earlier as Carragher. Led England to a win in their game against Germany. Pass dropped by the receiver, second and ten for Ghana. So hopefully the Ghanaians can use their running back in the same fashion. Boateng, short pass, finds Ayet. And he's just short of a first down. Forsa, he's going to get it in there. And now Ghana, close to Ivory Coast's red zone. They're within field goal range here, but they need a touchdown. Boateng, goes short to Bidiaco. And it'll be second and four. Forsa. Almost had space to run, but either way, the first down works, and now Ghana looking pretty threatening here. As that takes us into a two-minute warning. Again, they want to get this in the end zone before the start of the second half, as I believe they're going to get possession to start. Vorsai, and he's going to get in the end zone. And Ghana strikes first. It's the running back on the reception. His first reception goes for a TD. And we have a flag. Well, it looks like a false start takes away any PAT chance. First time I've seen that. And Traore on the return. He's going to get to the 28. Right. Glibly. Had a receiver in the corner. He can't find the ball. It'll be second and 10. Well, Ghana managing to find the end zone. No PAT. Puts him out in front. Glibly, with some time, finds Treore. Although O lineman's gonna be out, I think it's Silway. He might not be coming back. So Ivory Coast is now down the main O line, and we got a flag on the play. Toure on the reception, and this one's on Ivory Coast. As now they're gonna look at a first and long situation. So far, the penalties have been skewed. Ivory Coast with about three, Ghana with about two. Sunogo on the reception cuts that deficit in half as it's now a second and 11 situation. It's pressure mounting, quick throw. And gobbled up by the traffic, bounced around. Nothing doing. Literally going to go to the corner. Jay, he's going to get the reception. That will be a fourth and five. Come 
Kamara on the punt. That might be taken at the 15 if I'm going to guess. Oh, no, actually the 11. Oh, my yardage is off. Ball tank. Pressure immediately. Overthrows his man. But the clock will be stopped. Second and 10. And he's going to get stopped in the backfield. Couldn't get rid of it in time. And I guess he just didn't see the D lineman coming straight at him. Utara's first tackle was going to be a sack. Forza. He's not going anywhere, and Ghana's going to be forced to punt. It's going to get to about the 45 with four seconds left. They might have one or two plays left before the end of the first half. Mr. Lively going to go deep. And that's not going to do much. As Ghana, with the lone touchdown, stands tall. But the second half just about to begin, not much to be said. It's been mostly a defensive battle, but the back and forth is palpable. Both these teams surely proving to be more... Well, they're definitely, they're definitely not what I expected, but that's not a bad thing. And Imani to kick this off, and Ghana's going to have possession to begin the second half. Owusu. Decent return gets them to the 25, and we'll see how the Ghanaians take this drive. Obor on the rush. He's going nowhere. That's Kroc. Stops him in the backfield to prevent any gain of happening. From happening. Right. Gotta watch over it. Forsa, he's got some open space. And wow, that's a big rush right there. And Ivory Coast caught flat-footed almost immediately. Forsa, they're going to give it back to him. It'll be second and four. Forsa again, going to get the first down. And hopefully, hopefully they plan on using him much more. It seems like he's definitely, if his speed is, wow. Ball tank. Gonna go to the air. Finds Obuor. The second and three. Ghana within Ivory Coast's red zone. But still, they're gonna want to look for the end zone. They give it to Borsa. He's not gonna get far. Only about a yard snuck in. Blitz immediately, and it's Utara to pick it up. As that offensive line by Ghana, not much doing. There goes all that momentum. And guessing it is going to get nowhere on that rush. And this time he's going to get a gain of four yards. Although it's third and six, they got to be careful with what they choose here. They're going to give it to him again, and now he's going to get stopped in the backfield by Bone Trap. Well, looks like two squandered opportunities from each side. And Kamara, with the punt, finds Kufu War. And are they going to give him the 20? No. He's only going to get to the 19. Either way, it looks like Ghana's offense is, trying, is starting to find balance. They just need to finish the job. Boateng. Short floater to Kwaiki. And he gets that one. Boateng actually sheds the t his tackle. And maybe he's had enough of getting sacked. As he had to dodge that one. That's, that's completely unheard of. But third and one for Ghana. Borsa, 
Gets the first down and a little bit more. And they're going to keep their momentum alive. Yep, and never mind. Boateng's going to get sacked by Utara. Ghana's O-line still has yet to have an answer for that man as he's managed to sneak by and just do everything in his power to disrupt the QB. And as I say that, they're going to lose an O-lineman in the process. He can't get rid of it in time. And Kawame this time with the sack. Rod to return. Not going to get super far, but the field positioning is decent for Ivory Coast. They're going to take it from their 35. So far, it's been a low-scoring affair, but Ivory Coast is still in there. They're only down by a score. Traore has some space, and he's going to get the first down. Glibly gives it to Fofana this time. He'll fall forward for a gain of four. And Gessen puts his D-man in the spin cycle. And it'll be a third and three situation for Ivory Coast. I'm guessing, and he's actually going to get brought down in the backfield by Opal. He had the first tackle, but he couldn't get away from the second one, and now Ivory Coast, they're going to be on the punt again. Tomorrow with a decent punt should pin them at around the 13-12 yard line. Boateng, we got a flag on the play. Owusu on the reception, and the flag's going to go against Ivory Coast. Warsaw is going to sneak a little bit more. He's going to get seven yards on that rush. Ghana just narrowly in the lead by a touchdown. Obor going to get the extra two yards to be a, to force it to be a third and one and that should be the end of the third quarter right there as now we go into the final quarter again low scoring affair it's been all defense so far Boateng right. quick throw and the receiver can't get to it he was targeting a Wusu I believe so Ghana forced to punt on a fourth and one situation. Not the way you want to start the fourth quarter. Crop. On the return, he's going to get hit pretty hard at the 22. So Ivory Coast, they're still in this game, though. Don't count them out. Glibly, short pass to Kalu. And he's got some space to run. Finally gets brought down at the 50-yard line. And the momentum is working for Ivory Coast here. They're going to need that. Glibly to Nguessen. He's going to run straight into a D-lineman. Glibly to Nguessen again. Brought down in the backfield by Bonesra. And the yard they just gained gets taken back. going to give it to him again, and he's going to be brought back again, this time by Whitehead Schuster. And Ivory Coast squandering another opportunity here as they're going to be forced to punt. And that's a deep one by Kamara, which looks to be a touchback. Bolotank gets rid of it, finds Borsa. Reception of three yards. 
Ghana needs to find the end zone if they want to realistically put this game to bed. Warsaw, can he sneak by? No. He's going to be stopped short. Third and one. Their last third down, they could not convert, and it forced them to punt. So they need to do something here. Quick throw. Almost intercepted. And Ghana going to do the same thing they did last drive. Craw on the return. He's going to get to the 23 this time. And as the game, as the clock ticks down, Ivory Coast is getting set up to a position in which they can steal the game. I'm guessing. Gets leveled. Be a third and fourth situation for Ivory Coast. They couldn't convert on their last third down either. Libley takes the handoff, and no receiver is going to be on that one, as they're going to be forced to punt. And possession just keeps going back and forth, back and forth. Ghana has been sitting on that touchdown from the second quarter for quite a while now. Tank finds a Wusu. This guy on the inside is going to need to choose their plays carefully. Tando. He's going to get four yards on the reception. Kawame. He gets a leg injury. That's going to be bad. As he was, he's been one of their big pass rushers this entire game. Borsa trying to go up the gap, but there's no gap to be found. Third and five situation. Ball tank, quick throw. Owusu, are they going to give it to him? It'll be fourth and inches. And Ghana going to be forced to punt. And it will be a touchback. So they're going to need to put a defensive stop because with 3.14 left in the game, that's still enough time for Ivory Coast to steal this thing. I'm guessing. Pretty much goes untouched for about eight yards. And just as I say that, Kowame, he should be back in case the D-line is going to have to take the field again. Calibli is going to have to go deep. Oh, the receiver can't get his hands on that one. It'll be third and two. Ivory Coast really needs to get the conversion here. Quick throw. And find Sonogo. Sonogo pretty much all alone. And he'll take the touchdown. And it takes about two quarters. Well, a quarter and most of a quarter. For some life to be breathed back into this game as Ivory Coast is now ahead by the PAT Ghana couldn't take. Still 231 left to go. Ghana has plenty of time. And IU just can't afford to miss any field goals. Ivory Coast still has all their timeouts. Ghana can't afford to give up possession again. Boateng finds Wusu. And that's a big reception indeed. Ghana realistically needs just a field goal. Clock is ticking though. They got to choose their plays carefully. And we go to the two minute warning. Boateng goes to the corner. Receiver's not there for him. Second and ten. Tank finds Aya. And Ivory Coast is going to be forced to use a timeout. Good. 
Force up. Gets enough yardage, forces Ivory Coast to use another timeout. Forza again. Should be third and three. Ivory Coast is going to use another timeout. And now Ivory Coast out of timeouts. Ghana with three in hand. They're going to give it to Forza. Sneaks by. They're not going to give him the first down. Wow, that's absolutely ridiculous. Ah, you can't afford to miss this one. And he'll drain that one. And now Utara is going to be out for the D-line. One twenty-one left in the game. Still plenty of time for Ivory Coast to get a field goal and walk away with this one. But they have no timeout, so they can't afford to, to waste any time. Libley finds a floater, finds a no-go. They're going to have to go with the hurry-up offense, though. Clock's still ticking. And Ture gets the reception, but he's going to get stopped. Clock is still ticking. Ivory Coast with no timeouts. Someone's either going to have to throw it out of bounds or run out of bounds. Libley. They're going to go for the end zone, and it's a no-go. Ghana's defense getting complacent and doing absolutely nothing. Coverage blown yet again, and now Ivory Coast back in the lead. And man, this game finally starting to show some life in the dying seconds. And not even a field goal will be able to save Ghana here. Urusu. He's going to get to the 27. So Ghana has 30 seconds and three timeouts. What can they do here? And they're going to go deep. But the receiver can't catch it. That is going to be costly. As he was wide open, there is no excuse for him to drop that pass. And nothing doing on that one either. And three throws in a row get dropped. As Ghana with no choice but to go for it on fourth and ten. And it's finally caught, but there's nothing doing there. As I believe they've pretty much thrown away the game. Talk about a bottle job. Calibli is going to hand it off to Nguessen. And Ghana going to be forced to use the timeout. Guessing stopped immediately, but he's going to get the first down anyway. And that should do it here as Ivory Coast, they actually do run away with this one. It was a low-scoring affair, but they finally, in the dying seconds, managed to come away. Final score, 14-9. and And wow. Talk about a bottle job. Well, this has been the NK Hub signing off, and... We'll be back with one more game for today's action.